It's Real Tomorrow Cards Cribs, and I'm back with another one. Today we have a beautiful house in Winthrop Harbor, Illinois. It's three bedroom, two bathroom for $200,000. There's something special I like about this home though. You can literally park seven vehicles because this, this looks just like a one car garage, but you actually have a two car garage in the back and some more space back there. So I'm gonna show you guys that. But before we go inside, let's take a look at your neighborhood. Don't forget, you guys wanna make sure you do the steps. Step number one, you're gonna check the perimeter and check the foundation outside of the home to make sure there's no big cracks. Step number two, you're gonna bore in the basement. You're gonna do your smell test and check inside of the home to make sure there's no big cracks in the foundation. Step number three, you're gonna check the mechanics. See you inside. The seven car parking spaces. You park one right here, two right here. These are going to be your work vehicles. Your, your, the man and the husband and wife have their two vehicles right here. Then you're going to have a vehicle in here. Bam. This is the vehicle, the travel vehicle, where you take the kids out, y'all go on vacation, all that stuff. Then you can start charging for stores if people want to store their cars here. You can put another one right here. Then you also can put one right here. And this is where you're going to put the classics. You're going to put the, I'm going to put the van and the classics in here in my, my 97 Buick Park Avenue. We're putting that in the two car garage. But let's take off the backyard. Look, burn some wood, eat some s'mores, chill right here. Very nice backyard, fenced in the whole nine. Welcome to your new home. We're gonna start off downstairs in the basement. Very nice carpet on the stairs. Before we get into the video, I just wanna say this home brings back a lot of memories. My auntie, in North, she was living in North Carolina, she had a house exactly like this, the same exact setup. So, we're gonna walk right down in here into the family room. We're gonna put you a little couch right here, L couch, boom, boom. You got the TV set up right there. And then, I like down here, you can put like family photos or some little plants, it depends on what you're into, or things of that nature. Put you a little table right here, so everybody can eat dinner, like a four person table. Very nice setup. And this opened right up to the kitchen area with brand new cabinets. Very, very nice. Quartz countertops and stainless steel appliances. Very nice. Dishwasher. Wham. You got the microwave over here. So, the whole nine. Now, the previous tenants was using this as a studio, but some people may move, use it as a room. It doesn't have a closet, so it's taking out a room. But, you know, people are gonna do what they're gonna do. Me, this is gonna be my gaming room. I'm gonna have me a chair, a couch right here, a little chair right here. Then have my TV there, bam. The whole computer set up and all that, you know, playing Call of Duty. Very nice size room though. We also do have a bathroom down here. That's why it's gonna be perfect for a game room or you can even use it as, as an office so the kids can stay upstairs do what they need to do, their homework and everything. And since most people are working at home, you can use that as the office. Don't forget, comment below and let me know what step number three is. If you guys comment below and let me know that. It also is gonna come with very nice washer. What's that one? You put the sheets in, this is exclusive. And dryer. And it does have an exit down here too, just in case you need to get out. Let's go ahead and roll upstairs to your living room three bedrooms and the other bathroom. Welcome to your living room. Very nice carpet, very nice paint. What I'm doing is, yeah, because the heater right there, bam. I'm putting the L couch right here. Boom, boom. TV right here, boom. To be honest, this would be my stunt area. This would be just the area that you just look, you walk past, you just look in here. You know, it's not gonna be for sitting. Sitting is gonna be for downstairs. So I'm gonna have the whole nice setup in here. Put some end tables over there, bam. Another table there, another table there. 90 inch TV right there, wham, so it can look good. And that's what I'm going with. Let's go ahead and step into room number one. Before we go on one, I wanna point out something. I really like this dark wood. Very nice, it's very elegant. I like that a lot. Room number one, very nice carpet, 
very nice paint. This one is not the biggest, I'm not gonna lie to you, but you could fit a full size bed in here, perfect size for a kid, full size bed with the end tables, TV right here, wham. And then you can go ahead and throw a dresser here, or you can throw a dresser in here and, and utilize the closet space well. Throw a dresser here, put the shirts and the jeans and everything right here, you can just put your shoes up top. Gotta switch it up sometime. Bathroom number two, what it do? Very, very nice flooring, nice vanity, and the tub, I like it a lot. Very nice and clean. This feel like a rich person bathroom, kinda. It has a, it has a font sway to it. It's, maybe it's the mirror and the, the countertop or something. I'm not sure what it is, but it has a, it has a very nice feel to it. Look at that. Linen closet, the big stuff. Wham! Room number two, nice carpet, nice paint. Room number two is bigger than room number one. You can go with a queen size bed, that's what I would do. Queen here, end tables. I'll put my dresser with the mirror right here, wham. Put the TV off right here, you can plug it in right there, right there, bam. That's how I'm doing that. Closet space, a lot, some people may have an issue with the closet not having doors, but I kind of like it because you can use it, use more space. It's not covering, it's not covered. So you can put the shoes down here, jeans, shirt, switch it up, or you can put your fold, your underwear, socks. If you don't want to get a dresser, it depends on what you want to do. Put everything right there. Nice little setup. The master suite. Room number three. Hmm. I'm going king size bed here, yeah. King here, end table, end table. TV here, bam. Got the cable cord right there. And I'll put me like a nice little fireplace setup, a little set, a little small little setup right there. Then you can maybe put like some, a dresser here. I would go dresser there, yeah. King size bed, end tables, TV, dresser, yeah. That's what I'm going with. Closet space, closet space is bigger than room two and one. Very nice size closet. You got the double whammy in here. So I will put all my jeans down here, shoes galore down there, then put the shirts up here. And you can actually buy you another one of these and put it up top. Just in case you want to like put, I can put my hats or something up there. Get to utilize all the space, baby. But again, we're in Winter Harbor, Illinois. This is a beautiful three bedroom, one and a half bathroom for only $200 thousand dollars for anyone looking to buy or sell any property you can always email me at romeshousereviews at gmail.com hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget smash that subscribe button it's real to rome and i'm gone